Hey guys, it's a big exciting day. We're going to graph some lines from these equations, okay? You've probably been building up to this. So basically, when you first started this unit or chapter or whatever, you were probably plugging in numbers for X and getting a Y. That was your ordered pair. And then you were um, plotting those and making a line, right? That is great. But guess what? This is a faster way. We like faster, right? Get your homework done sooner. So what we're going to do is we are going to look for what we call slope intercept form, okay? If our equation is set up like this, the information we need is right in front of our face, okay? So basically, if you're asked to graph a line, if you can get it into this form where you have y equals, if this is the m will be a number, okay? A number x plus or minus another number, okay? If you're like, what are you talking about? Just hang with me. So, you see this here, we have y equals negative 2x minus 7. This is in slope intercept form because y is by itself, okay? If y weren't by itself, I could add or subtract or do whatever I needed to do to both sides to get it in this form, okay? Now, when it is in this form, the number in front of my x is my slope, okay? This is my slope. Okay, the number being added or subtracted on the back is my y-intercept. Now, you're probably familiar with these terms, but if you're not, stick around. We're going to do it together, okay? So, what this tells me is my line for this equation crosses my y-axis. That's, oh, sorry, that's this one, right? Crosses my y-axis at negative 7. Okay, so it's going to look something like this. Start at zero, go down seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right there. Okay, I know my line crosses that point. Okay, but I don't know if it goes like this, like this, how steep it is. What tells me that is my slope. Okay, so my slope is negative two. Okay, now we like to write slope as a fraction. Okay. So I'm going to write it as negative two. You're like, that's not a fraction. If a number is not a fraction, we can always turn it into one by just putting it over a one. Okay. Because negative two divided by one is negative two. So it's still just negative two. Okay. When we have slope, um, kind of a easy way to remember it is rise overrun. You've probably heard that before. And basically all that means is you do up and down over right and left. Okay. <laughs> so what that means is my slope is negative two over one. So that means I'm going to do up and down first. So I'm starting here. My slope is negative two. So I'm going to go down two over one. It's a positive one. So I'm going to go to the right one. Okay. And there is my next point, okay? I could go down two over one again. It's off my graph, but it would be about there, right? And then it's kind of helpful to find some that are that way as well. So negative two over one can also be written as two over negative one, okay? Because when I divide that, it's going to simplify down to just negative two again, okay? So I can also think of it as starting at this point, that my up and down or my rise is two and negative one would go left one. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. So up to left one and I could keep going for literally ever. Okay. But I'm just gonna do a few more. <laughs> okay. There we go. So there is my line. Well, it's not a line yet. It's just dots. Hold on. Here is my line and it literally goes on forever. Okay. So that means all the ordered pairs along this line are answers for this equation, okay? All right, let's do one that looks a little funny. Y equals X, okay? It's like, what does that even mean? So we're in slope-intercept form, right? Because Y is by itself. But where's my M and where's my B, okay? Well, the M is pretty easy to find because this is really just one X, right? We just don't usually write the one, but it really is one X, right? So M or my slope is one. 
Okay, so let me write that down. My slope, or a lot of times now you'll see it written as M. My slope is one. Again, we like slope to be a fraction. So how do we make this into a fraction? It's just over one, right? Because one divided by one is one, okay? <laughs> and then what about my y-intercept? Well, hang with me. I could write this as plus zero, right? That doesn't change what my equation is because anything plus zero is just itself. So that means my y-intercept is zero, okay? There we go. So now let's graph this. Okay, so I'm going to use orange. We start with our y-intercept. My y-intercept is zero. So that means it crosses this line at zero, which is right here, okay? My slope is one over one. So since they're both positive, I'm going to go up and right, okay? So up one over one, up one over one, up one over one, okay? And I could keep going, right? Now... I could also write this as negative one over negative one. Okay. Does that sound crazy? <laughs> so this could also be written as negative one over negative one. Why? Because negative one divided by negative one simplifies down to one. So it's the same thing. Okay. Basically all that is saying is I can go this way too. Down one, left one, down one, left one. Okay. And again, I could literally go forever. Okay. So there is my line, okay? Now, if you run into one that just looks like y equals four or x equals one, I will link a video with some examples of those ones, okay? All right, but hopefully that's made sense and good luck getting your homework done. Bye.